Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from John Isella. I sent him a message because uh, he uh, came in to provide support on PayPal uh, to the channel, which I very much appreciated. Sent him a thank you note for that, and also asked him if he got through the hurricane okay. Uh, he lives on Merritt Island, and my wife has a brother on Merritt Island, and he says he got through okay. Um, he suggests we take a look at the emergency tuner mode on the ICOM 7300. Now, the ICOM 7300 is the reference radio, so we can take a look at this. Um, he says, basically, even though the emergency mode tuned my antenna, it was dead as a doornail. Uh, but with an external antenna tuner, he was back on the air, long story. Um, 73 from John. Let's take a look at this. This is a mode that is in the handbook. This is the handbook right here. Uh, on page 11-4, emergency mode. Now the emergency mode allows you to drop the radio to half power. Okay, and then go ahead and transmit even though it's a high SWR and use the antenna tuner even if the SDR uh, SWR is more than three to one. Okay so now I have a step IR um, controller for my step IR big IR vertical antenna. Okay I've tuned this antenna to 11.975 megahertz. Note it says gen because that's general coverage. This antenna can be tuned to anything between 40 meters and up to 10 meters, okay? So I've tuned it to 11.975 megahertz, and we're going to try and operate it on, uh, 40, or on 20 meters, which takes um, a much shorter antenna. So the SWR is going to be awful. So let's go over to the screen here on this, and what I'm going to do is with everything in normal shape, I'm going to put the uh, tuner on. Well, I'm going to leave the tuner off and go down here and um, pick the meters. Here's SWR. Look at the SWR right here. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. And if you look at it up here on this watt meter, we see that the forward power is about 50 watts. The return power is five watts and they cross about on the three to one line somewhere in there but this shows <clears throat> significantly worse than three to one now let's just try and tune that it won't tune it refuses to tune okay now let's follow the emergency mode it's menu Okay, set, others, emergency, and now we come up and click tuner. And it tells you that this expands the match ratio for emergencies. The output power is limited to max of 50 watts. Danger, never get close to the antenna during transmitting. Okay, fine. Okay, so we do okay. Now underneath is a blinking light that says restart to set. Now I thought, oh, I just power cycle it here. No, that's not what you do. You have to press right on this. Okay, it comes back up in emergency tune mode. We check the RF power, 50%. Okay, now let's put it into uh, tuner mode and it's got the E right up here, okay, um, and we're going to, oops, it's a tuner, it tunes, and lo, lo and behold, we have a match for 1411179, which is a Morse code frequency in an almost completely unused part of the band tuning into an antenna that's much too long. Now we look at the SWR here, and we see that the SWR shows one-to-one -one for the receiver. Okay. 
Okay, so that's out. Now, how do you get out of this mode? Okay, first of all, let's turn off the tuner. Okay, let's go to Menu, Set, Others, Emergency, Uncheck the Timer. Now we've got to restart again. That's okay. We just push on that to restart. And lo and behold, we're back here where we were before. Okay, now if I were to pick the band for this... Um, Okay, now if I were to transmit on this over here, you're going to see that the SWR is very good using the uh, internal tuner. If we really want to tune it up, we can do that, and it tunes just fine. See, it's tuned. All right? So what we have done is we've shown where the internal tuner is in the manual, and this is in the... Um, big manual that has everything in it. Uh, this is, let's see, it's called the um, full manual. On page 11-4 shows how to get into this emergency mode. If you happen to be out, for example, doing parks on the air or something like that, and you can't tune your antenna, drop it to 50 watts, go into the emergency mode, let it tune, and go ahead and operate there. That's not a problem. And then you can pull it out. So we've showed how to go into the mode, how it works in the mode. You, you go ahead and tune it like you would normally tune it by pushing the tuning button and holding it until it starts to tune. We show how it got down to one-to-one. -to -one, and then we showed how to get back out of the mode by going through the steps again and unchecking that little box. Otherwise, you're going to be in emergency mode from now on okay now you need to manually make sure that the power is not above 50 watts it may do that for you automatically but make sure that you get it down to 50 I tried doing it automatically it actually went down to 53 percent but that seems to work fine so there you have it a great way to use your ICOM in a new way you hadn't thought of before with the emergency tuning so there you have it if you would like to help support this channel financially, which I would truly appreciate, you can go to decastlercom support and look for a way there that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.